Our lives depend on a world we can't see. Think about your week so far. Have you watched TV, checked the weather, or even ate a meal? These many things that enable our daily lives rely either directly or indirectly on satellites. But these satellites that we rely on day in and day out have a finite life. They might run out of propellant, they could malfunction, or they may just naturally reach the end of their mission life. At this point, these satellites effectively become space junk, cluttering the orbital environment. Satellites that are no longer working are often left to deorbit over many, many years or only moved out of the way as a temporary solution. Of the nearly 7,000 satellites launched since the late 1950s, only about one in seven is currently operational. And in addition to the satellites that are no longer working, there's also hundreds of thousands of marble-sized debris and millions of paint ship-sized debris that are also orbiting around the Earth. The reality of space is that if a component on a satellite breaks down, there really are limited opportunities for repairs, and only at great cost. But what if we were smarter about how we design satellites? Maybe a satellite needs to have technology on board to help accelerate deorbit. The UK's Tech Demo Sat 1, launched in 2014, for example, was designed for end-of-life disposal via a small drag sail. And then one really cool possibility is the idea of orbital tow trucks or space mechanics. Imagine if a robotic arm on some sort of space tow truck could fix the broken components on a satellite, making them usable again. Or what if that very same robotic arm could refuel the propellant tank on a spacecraft that relies on chemical propulsion, just like you or I would refuel the fuel tanks on our cars? Robotic repair and maintenance could extend the lives of hundreds of satellites orbiting around the Earth.